Okay. Hello, I'm Bob Sharp, physical therapist. <laughs> I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, you've been kind of a genius on providing us with exercises on to do with people who, after they've had a stroke. And this is one, if, if you don't mind I'm saying, if I say it, that you can really use it for people beyond a stroke, too. Right. Anybody who's got kind of a one leg that's weaker than the other. Right. Wouldn't that be right? right? It might be after an injury and it's weak leg because you've been on crutches and, and a cast for six to eight weeks. Um, but it definitely works well for stroke. You better believe it. Now this is something you can do at home. This is someone who has recovered if it was a severe stroke to the, to the point where they can walk right. but not real steady and that you know that leg, leg is weak. Yeah. Throwing you off balance, putting you at a high potential for uh, falls. Sure. Okay, so let's get to the three exercises. And what I like to do, and I'm doing these with a patient right now that's had a stroke, 61-year-old, and he's getting ready to go home. And we work on Don't putting... the walker in front of you? No, wow. That's a good point. We can use it. Uh, what's going to get in the way? Okay. It's just a sit to stand around. Now, it's not only good strengthening exercise, Bob, but it's functional, something you do right. all the time. Exactly. Okay, so this is for someone who can already get up, but that leg is weak, and they tend to go over to one side or they're losing their balance. So yeah, it would be a good thing to do to have a walker in front. So you're saying the weak side is the left side? Yep. Okay. The left side, okay. That, that's a good point, Bob. Hold on right there. Oh, what he's going to do is, because people tend to, he's going to put that around his leg. See, people tend to, to put more weight on the strong side as they're getting up. So what he's going to recommend is that you actually try to focus on putting more weight on the weak side as you get up. And if you're doing this at home and there's someone to help, get your gate belt out, which you probably have from the hospital if you had a stroke. And if you haven't, you can just use a regular hefty belt. Yep. Safety comes first. Yep. You want to make sure that you're not going to fall here and get yourself back to square one. Right. Okay. Um, the red tape represents the weak leg from the stroke. And, of course, good body mechanics. If there's arms there, you can push off from the arms to start with. And... You don't want to grab the locker and pull up this way. That's one thing you do want to avoid. Okay, I'm going to push here because this is what I have on this, and I'm going to come up. And you're and, leaning towards the left. Yeah, and, and that's all there is to it. Oftentimes, without even realizing it, this can happen. So you're going to consciously think and maybe have a partner. Why don't you come over here, Bob? Sure. So you're going to have your helper over on this side, and they may have a hand on the gate belt if you're having difficulties. But you're going to go forward and purposely put weight on that weak leg and get up. And you may have that locker there, you may not need it. Depends on your balance at that time. And after you do that, you're going to do it again. Good control, good posture. You want to avoid leaning really far forward, of course. But and you do have to lean forward. Right, you yeah. do have to lean forward. And you do want to scoot forward on the chair, too. Exactly. Yeah. Good point, Bob. So it's not just leaning forward, but pull the feet underneath, because if the leg is out here, that's going to be a problem. Underneath, lean forward, but not really far forward, and on to that leg. We always say nose over the toes. Nose over the toes. There's nose, there's the toes. Okay. It's all about weight bearing on that left side. Yep. Yeah, okay. And do that 10 repetitions. That's usually a good number to shoot for. All right. Next one is simply squats. Okay. So squats, if you got a weak leg, a lot of times people will tend to favor that right side just because it's strong. They may have some neglect, which is a common symptom of strokes. I'm not going to get into that, but it's when they favor one side. So Bob's got to hold my, my belt and I'm going to really focus on putting my weight. If there was a scale on this foot and on this foot, it would read 150 pounds here and 42 pounds there. I've got a lot more weight on this right leg and good posture up tall. More weight on your left leg, right? Is that what I say, Bob? He says right leg. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Very good. Again, 10 like that. Focusing. And if if, if you can, if you can only do shallow, that's fine. Yep. Yeah, start off with shallow, yep. but, but focusing on putting it on the left side. Right. And eventually you'll get deeper. And, yep. and you're definitely, once you get down about this far, you, you don't need to go any farther than that. Yep. Then you go to the next exercise. This is the big one. This is the one that really helps that leg and works on that balance as well. Yep. You're going to do lunges. So if you're doing it with the right leg, it's a strong leg. This is how you would do them, okay? Straight down. Yep. So what he's doing here is the knee 
It should not go past the toe. So oh, good show, point. show it past the toe once, Brad, first. Yeah, hold on one second, Bob. Oh, yeah. This is them. one thing I always do with my patients. Okay. Put that there. You want to hold that? Yep. So the knee should not bump into that. So that's vertical, nice yeah. plumb line, and I'm going to keep it like this. Yeah. Now, someone that's had a stroke or has had a weak leg is not going to be able to do this very easily. Yeah. This and they're going to have to hold on to something probably yeah. to start off with. So um, they could do a walker, or they could hold on to a countertop, right? Yeah. 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 So again, this one forces you to put the majority of the weight on that left leg, the weak leg. And you're going to go up to 10 with that. If 10 gets too harder, you can spread the lunge out a little bit farther. But, you know, if you're getting out like this, you're yeah. going to be going up and down the stairs. You're not going to have a problem. Yeah, if you're, you're doing real well. Right. You're going above average probably. You, you might just start out with baby ones like this, and that's perfectly fine, and that's what we encourage. Start out slow and work your way up. So All any right. questions about that, Bob? No, but if you haven't already, we're going to want to uh, encourage you to subscribe. In fact, we'll beg you to subscribe so that you can... Pro We'll provide you with information on how to stay healthy and fit. Information at physical, only a physical therapist can give you. Right, right, exactly. 40 and over. 40 and over. We, that's what we focus on because we are 40 and over. Yeah. yeah, and we are not professional actors, but we are professional therapists. We, but we play one on TV? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> thanks.